All right, Shalom. Let's start off by giving all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shah, Bahasham, Rachah Radash. Double honors to the elder apostles and the elders of Great Millstone and GMS. And I want to say peace and blessings unto the elect. I'm going to start off in the book of Revelation, the 19th chapter, and the 10th verse. And it says, it's a lucky homepage, uh, Revelation 19 and 10. It says, and I fell at his feet to worship him, okay? And he said unto me, see thou do it not. I am thy fellow servant and thy, and of thy brethren that have the testimony of Yahweh Shahamashiach, okay? So I'm gonna read this one more time. It says, and I fell at his feet, okay, to worship him. And this is one of the angels. And he said unto me, See thou do it not, I am thy fellow servant, and of thy brethren that have the testimony of Yahweh Worship the heavenly Father, for the testimony, okay, the witness, okay, of Yahweh is the spirit of prophecy, is the spirit of bringing out the things that are going to come to pass, and I may add, shortly come to pass okay because we are at the end of this age okay we can't say that enough because it's the tr this is exactly what it is we're at the end of this age all fingers point to the end of the world okay all the signs are there the signs in the heavens okay the signs of what's going on with the people in the world Okay, the signs that were given, the wars, the rumors of wars, okay, uproars amongst the people, okay, racial tensions are at an all time high, okay, the mark of the beast is here, and the man of sin is being revealed, okay, has been revealed, okay, the son of perdition, okay. Markers and scoffers are falling out of trees. Okay, it's raining markers and scoffers. Okay. And all these things are indicators of us being in the last days. These things were all prophesied. Okay. So let me read this one more time. It says, And I fell at his feet, Revelation 19 and 10, and I fell at his feet to worship him, and he said unto me, See thou do it not. I am thy fellow servant, and of thy brethren that have the testimony of Yahweh Shai. Okay? Worship the Heavenly Father, for the testimony of Yahweh Shai is the spirit of prophecy. Okay? The spirit of prophecy. Okay? For the witness of Yahweh Shai. Okay? Because the Lord is about to return. Okay? is the spirit of prophecy, okay? So that's what we're supposed to be doing, telling the things that are to come before they happen, prophesying, okay? That's the spirit of the Lord. Though the testimony of the Lord is the spirit of prophecy, okay? And we bear witness, okay, to these things. The world, it, everything indicates that we're at the end of this age. These prophecies are coming to pass, okay? The mark of the beast, again, it is here, all right? It is upon us. We're more than halfway through the year 2019, which the other apostle Tahar uh, titled um, through the spirit, the year of Karagma, okay? Which goes, which karagma means is is what the word in Revelation 13 and verse uh, 16, the word mark to receive a mark. And I just read it right quick. Revelation 13 and 16. And he calls it all both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond to receive a mark. Karagma in their right hand or in their foreheads, which is the RFID microchip. Okay. A tracking device, a device that allows you to buy and sell, okay? 
and pretty soon it's going to be made mandatory. We see all these things taking place and they're all happening by design, okay? Because that's Esau trying, matter of fact, let me just grab this right quick. It's the book of Job. This is Job uh, 20 and verse uh, 23. It says, when he is about to fill his belly, the heavenly father shall cast fury. Matter of fact, I'm going to start over one verse. This is Job 20 and 21. It says, uh, 22, it says, in the fullness of his sufficiency, he shall be in straits. Okay. Every hand of the wicked shall come upon him. All right. So in the fullness of his sufficiency, trying to push out his new world order, he shall be in straits. Okay. And that's what we see all these events that are taking place, the dollar being devalued, okay, um, the mark of the beast being pushed out there, martial laws, we're on the cuffs of martial law, racial tensions are being built up by design, okay. This is his agenda, but it says in the fullness of his sufficiency, he shall be in straits, okay. Verse 23, it says, when he is about to fill his belly, okay, because he sat there and he got all this stuff, just using the analogy of, 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 of preparing a meal. He's prepared the meal, is steaming, okay, he served it up on the plate, he put it on the table, he's sitting down before that meal, and he start biting into it, okay, it says, when he is about to fill his belly, the most high, Yahweh Shemiahwashah, shall cast the fury of his wrath upon him and shall rain it upon him while he is eating. Okay? So once he thinks he's got his new world order going and everything looks like is is you know aces, the most high is gonna rain his fury down upon this devil. Okay. And this is prophecy. The testimony of Yahweh Shah Hamashiach is the spirit of prophecy. Okay? That's why prophecy is the scriptures say covered to prophesy. Prophecy is 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 this that's that's it, man. Okay? But rather ye prophesy. Say the things that are going to happen before they happen according to the scriptures. Okay? So let me get another scripture because I, you know, the spirit took it there. Um because I had some scriptures written out, but um, that, that just came out through the spirit, okay? So let me grab another scripture, a precept, all right? And it's the second Timothy, chapter one and verse eight. It says, be not thou therefore ashamed of the testimony of our Lord, okay? What's the testimony of our Lord? The spirit of prophecy, okay? Matter of fact, let me start up a verse. This is 2 Timothy 1 and 7. For God hath not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of sound mind. Okay? Be not therefore ashamed of the testimony of our Lord, the prophecies, man. Nor of me, his prisoner, okay? Which we're prisoners in Yahweh Shahamashiach. But be thou partaker of the afflictions of the gospel according to the power of the heavenly father okay but be thou partakers don't be ashamed of the testimony okay of our lord nor of me his prisoner but be thou partakers of the afflictions okay why because we're doing this to gain the kingdom okay and we're doing this because we're commanded to do it all right and these things must take place in order for the kingdom of heaven to, to come, okay? Um, this is 2 Thessalonians 2 and 3. Let no man deceive you by any means. For that day shall not come, except there come a falling away first, which that happened, and that man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition, the son of destruction, and he's being revealed, Okay? And what's the day? The end. Okay? So we have to push these things out and not be ashamed of them. 
Okay? It says, let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come, except that come a fallen away first, and that man of sin be revealed. Okay, how is he being revealed? By going out and prophesying against him. Okay? Letting our people, letting the world know who he is. He's the son of destruction. Okay? Prophesying against his wicked kingdom, his power structure. Okay? Prophesying against the beast. Okay, this system. All right. Um, let me get one more scripture. All right, because ultimately, I'll just read it first and then speak on it. This is Revelation twelve and seventeen, and the dragon was wroth with the woman and went to make war with the remnant of her seed, okay? Which keep the commandments of the heavenly father and have the testimony of Yahweh HaMashiach, okay? And the dragon was wroth with the woman, all right? And went to make war with the remnant of her seed. Who is the remnant of his, of his seed? The children of Israel, mainly the elect, okay? Because why? It says, which keep the commandments of the Heavenly Father and have the testimony of Yahweh Shah Mashiach, who has the testimony of the Lord, which is the spirit of prophecy. His servants, the prophets, okay? So the dragon is wroth, okay? Pissed off. And it says, went to make war with the remnant of a seed, which keep the commandments of the Heavenly Father and have the testimony of Yahweh Shah Mashiach. All right? So that's what's to come. Okay? He's going to come down with great wrath. All right? This devil is going to come down. Matter of fact, let me go back some. Revelation 12 and 12. It says, therefore rejoice ye heavens and all and ye that dwell in them, woe tend to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. For the devil is come down unto you, having great wrath, all right, because he knoweth that he hath but a short time. And he knows he has but a short time. And this is prophecy, okay? We are not to be ashamed of the prophecy, okay? The testimony. The prophecies, the testimony, all right? We're to push these things, okay? Because we are at the end, all right? We're commanded to do so. And if not, then the end won't come and we won't gain the kingdom. But this is going to happen because it's prophesied to happen. The men that you see waking up all over the earth, okay? That's prophecy taking place. This word going out, okay? So, a matter of fact, I'm going to read this one more time, and I'm going to end it on it, right where I started. Revelation 19 and 10, And I fell to his feet to worship him, and he said unto me, See, thou do it not, I am thy fellow servant, and of thy brethren that have the testimony of Yahweh Shai, the witness of the Lord. Worship the heavenly Father, for the testimony of Yahweh Shai is the spirit of prophecy. The spirit of telling things that are going to happen before they happen, what are written in these scriptures, okay? And we ought not be ashamed to do these things, okay? This commandment to go out into the highways and the hedges, to push this word, to push these prophecies, all right? So with that, um, I just wanted to bring that out because it kind of almost uh, like a lamb back off the last lesson I did, okay? Because we're going to be persecuted for these things. All right. But the scripture said in um, what I just read. As a matter of fact, let me go back. Second Thessalonians. Um, I mean, Salakia. First, uh, Second Timothy. Chapter one. Crap. In verse eight, it says, be thou therefore... Be not thou therefore ashamed of the testimony of our Lord, nor of me his prisoner, but be thou partake, be thou, but
but be thou partaker of the afflictions, okay? So don't be ashamed of the testimony, okay? But be a partaker of the afflictions of the gospel, okay? Because we're going to suffer afflictions, all right? So that's why I was saying, you know, I was just still meditating on the lesson I did before, okay? And these scriptures came uh, to heart, okay? So that's what it is, man, according to the scriptures, all right? And um, I'm going to end it right there. Just something short I just wanted to touch on because it was just going through my head. And, um, you know, Lord willing, there was edification in this lesson. And I'm going to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh, Shai, Ba'ashem, Makar, and double honors to the elder apostles and the elders of Great Millstone and GMS, all right? And um, I'm going to say uh, peace and blessings unto the elect. And we almost out of here, man, okay? All fingers point to the end, all right? And Esau is the end of the world. And Jacob is the beginning of it that followed. So with that... Until the next one, shallow warm.